Hey, Brendan here. I'm going to show you how to automatically digitize deeds and land descriptions using the QGIS AI Vectorizer plugin. Uh, you can get that plugin by going to Plugins, Manage and Install Plugins, and searching Bunting Labs. So the AI Vectorizer can now digitize uh, deeds or land descriptions automatically. Uh, and this is what I'm talking about when I say that. It can read PDFs that have a textual description of the uh, boundary of a property uh, or some kind of uh, geometry that you want to extract. This deed additionally has the outline of the property uh, as a map. Uh, you should know that that is not what the plugin is reading. Instead, it's reading out the meets and bounds, that is the list of um, compass bearings and distances that the that a hypothetical surveyor could follow to trace along the boundary of this parcel. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you, I've already located the point of beginning for this parcel, and you too must locate the point of beginning manually. Often these parcels, these deeds don't have the point of beginning as a coordinate, so you will need to do that yourself. So we can do that by uh, choosing our vector layer. Here I'm using a polygon scratch layer and using the turning on audit, editing and then using the add polygon feature or the add line feature. And here it is conveniently uh, the boundary of this polygon of this uh, parcel has conveniently already been added to um, OpenStreetMap. And so I can go ahead and click on the point of beginning and then I'm going to go to the plugins menu, Bunting Labs, and digitize land descriptions. And let's pull up this same one, and I'm gonna hit open. So this uploads the PDF to the cloud, uh, and with an LLM, it turns those uh, meets and bounds into coordinates. Let's try that again. Great, so this says we've successfully digitized five coordinates from the land description, which means that uh, it has at least gone through the LLM and it has returned to the point of beginning. And so there's some level of accuracy here. Uh, that being said, it doesn't mean that it's perfectly accurate. So if I right click and pan around, we can see that it does disagree a little bit with this OpenStreetMap boundary. Um, and this is actually probably a different boundary but we can see along this edge, some sort of like old fence line perhaps in the satellite imagery. Um, and so this is worth uh, manually checking, but it's obviously potentially much faster than a manual process. Um, so this was a successful version. I'm also going to show you a couple of uh, examples where it'll have a more difficult time just to show you um, its strengths and weaknesses. So if I click, this is just an arbitrary point of beginning, and choose one of these other ones. So this is an example of one that will not work, and that's because it actually has multiple parcels here. Um, and because it can only digitize one parcel at once, it's going to give us an error if I choose this PDF. Um, here is a particularly difficult one. This is one that you would actually want to do by hand, perhaps with the uh, QGIS distances and azimuths plugin. Uh, if you actually, so I went ahead and pulled this up uh, and this is actually quite difficult to digitize by hand, um, mainly because it's very difficult to OCR these documents. OCR is like reading these uh, PDF images out uh, and a human will have a much better time reading out, okay, south 62 degrees, 27 minutes, 2.74 chains. Um, and even though chains, rods, varas, meters, feet, these are all accepted units for our uh, vectorizer, uh, it's actually gonna struggle while reading this text. And so that's something that you will have to um, do manually. But I can go ahead and hit open just to show you what that error message will look like. What it's basically doing is it's trying its best to read that, and then it's going to follow those meets and bounds while regenerating the geometry. 
Uh, and it turns out that if there's any um, mistake in uh, reading any character, the uh, geometry won't return back to the point of the beginning. And so that's kind of a self-check. Um, it's making sure that it can actually digitize a plot correctly. And let's open up the last one just to show you. This is, I can actually go to the point of beginning for this. This is a underwater parcel in Lake Tahoe. So I know the point of beginning is somewhere around here. So I can click that and then I can load that same parcel. And then I'm going to yet again upload the PDF and digitize this geometry. Great. So it says it's successfully digitized 16 coordinates. And again, we see that it was able to successfully close it. Additionally, we see that it goes around kind of these uh, features that we see in the satellite, which is great. So I can right click and save this. Um, yeah, so I hope that was helpful. So this land description vectorizer is accessible on our paid plans. Um, if you are just trying the AI vectorizer out, you can actually upload one of them for free. Um, and see kind of what the experience is. Uh, and in order to continue using it, you do need a paid plan. It's also worth noting that if you upload a PDF and it fails to digitize, that is not counted towards your usage. Yeah, so I hope this tutorial was useful. Um, as always, if you have any feedback for us, uh, you can reach us on social media or you can send us an email to support at buntinglabs.com. Uh, thank you so much.